So he was like, have you read my bio? And I was like, no, oh, why? Much. And he was like, oh, okay, I'm actually scouting for amateur porn actresses. Oh, wow. And I was like- Always read the bio. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> fake garage. <laughs> <laughs> So, we're here today, we've got Charlie with us today. How are you doing, Charlie? I'm good, hey, thank Charlie. you. Hello. <laughs> so, what are we gonna... We've What's this, episode five? It's five. Six? Episode five or six? Five or six. Who knows, who cares, <laughs> who cares? No one's watching. <laughs> Is that, that's my camera, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, no one's watching, but yeah. So, we're gonna discuss, what should we discuss today, Steph? What do you reckon we should discuss with well, Charlie here? <laughs> we were talking about um, online dating. Oh, and I, life of Tinder. Yeah, I'm a virgin to this. I've never done online dating. I You're don't a virgin. Even get it, virgin to this, mate. Slander. In the comments, like, hey, you're not a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk <laughs> online dating then. So Tinder. So mm. as a man being on Tinder, because I've been single for quite a long time. Just no one replies to the um, messages and stuff. And this I don't is seem Jack's to get that promo, many. by the way, for his Tinder account. Nobody was me. <laughs> Hit me up on uh, Tinder. You'll find me with someone that looks no one like me. So, um, first of all, tell me how it works. Like, so you have the I've album. Heard, I've seen people use it, but I don't You know. upload pictures of yourself. So obviously you're selling that best version of yourself. Mm -hmm. Similar to social media and stuff. So all the best pictures where you're looking photogenic and you're having fun. And, oh my God, you look so great. So you have the pictures. And what you do... You swipe for other people's profiles. So you swipe, is it swi So you swipe right for like, and yep. swipe left for no. Dead, like. So you have to be careful, because if you accidentally... Well, yeah, we'll get to that, we'll get to <laughs> swipe. that. Oh no! <laughs> so sometimes you, you can't take it back. That's no, you can't, no, you, no, can't, you can't, you can't. You can if you pay for the Tinder Golds. So you pay for it and you can get like a undo button when you press it and it goes back. You can right. do that once. That sounds worth it. But sometimes it's not that bad. If you swipe right to like someone and you're not, you didn't want to like them, mm. and you get a match, you can just go, Ugh. Unmatch, <laughs> and they're gone. So Worst can... thing is if you've got someone like, oh, you're so right, and then you accidentally swipe left, and you're like, no, nah! they're, they're gone, <laughs> lost forever. You just say like, no, you're you were going to marry But can you get them back on the gold? No, you can't. They're, no. gone. Do you mean, they're gone forever. We joke about that. How many people do you think that you've accidentally swiped left on that could have been could like have been the one? The one. Because they say everyone's a catfish. Because Ugh. no, they're, yeah, well, we are. They're putting we are their representatives. I mean, yeah, I mean, every single person is a catfish because you wouldn't put. You wake up on a, you know. Sunday morning when you've been out looking rough, you don't go, oh, great, great Tinder profile. Yeah, no, but you, but, could, you could apply that same argument to when people go on actual first dates and they haven't online dating, that that person you see there is a catfish, because that's not an honest rep representation of themselves, is yeah, it? Yeah, I, I suppose, but you, obviously you're always going to be like... Makeup, get your hair mm -hmm. done, all that shit. And, yeah. yeah, so you're not going to go, I'm not going to go to a date looking like I've just rolled out of bed. <laughs> morning breath, like, you all right, babe? <laughs> <laughs> just, just like her, like bedhead and everything. I hate even brush my teeth, but she's anyway. Like, she's, she's like, oh my God, he's the one. <laughs> it's, it's not going to happen. So let's it? get back to you not getting any replies on Tinder. I think that needs to be brought up. No, because sometimes like, it's only got a message and it's like, great. So the last uh, girl I was in a relationship with, I'd sent her a message and she like, completely ignored it. You were in a relationship on Tinder? Not on, so the last one. That would one, be sad. Okay, it, that would be sad. It, it, the relationship came about through so we met on Tinder. Okay, the yeah. first message I sent to her, she just completely ignored. So I went and not out with all my mates, and um, I'd left my phone um, to play the music on, so my phone was unlocked. So my mate gets hold of my phone, and he's just like messaging everyone, and he just messages this girl saying, What, do you play hard to get all the time, or are you just being like a bitch or something? Got my phone next day, I was like, oh, Fuck. <laughs> And she replied. <laughs> <laughs> Negative. <laughs> I think the difference so, yeah. is though, like when, like girls, when they're on Tinder, I will actually, so I will look at a photo, I'm like, right, I like the photo, I will click on the bio, I will read the bio, see if we've got similar interests, because you'll go, oh, like, oh yeah, he's lovely. But th there was one, I, I had a guy um, who I just swiped right for, I was like, right, he's really attractive, swipe right, and the next thing, he was like, hi, have you read my bio? I was like, well, actually this time, no, I didn't. And then he was like, oh, Hang okay. On, that's I'm the first thing he said to you? But, yeah. So you matched, and the first thing he replied to you saying is, hi, have you read my bio? Yeah. No, because... sorry, mate, I didn't think this was homework. Right. No, 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 so he was like, have you read my bio? And I was like, no, oh, why? Nice. And he was like, oh, okay, I'm actually scouting for amateur porn actresses. Oh, wow. And I was like- Always read the bio. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> fake garage. Yeah. I was quite, um, I was quite flattered actually. I was like, oh, yeah, I could be on Pornhub. Um, <laughs> Your but, standards are low. <laughs> if that's flattering. <laughs> some, ran, some random guy on Tinder's like, do you want to get your butts out? In front of a camera. Oh, 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 butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you've never been paid such a compliment. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. 
<laughs> oh, because you're like getting that. <laughs> you got that. Or oh, I'm just looking for amateur porn actors. Like, what, what the? Don't <laughs> show me my dick. Like, what? <laughs> gonna take me for dinner first, at least. <laughs> I kept it going though, because I was like, oh, <laughs> you waited to see fees. Yeah. <laughs> 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 How much money you could earn from it? I was like, I was like, I'll tell you what, you can make some money off it. So oh, I was yeah. like, I went into work the next day. I was like, could I have like a porn at like, like, like <laughs> job on the side? I was like, no, I don't think so. Majority of lads, and I know this because I've got a lot of mates who are on Tinder. I said, well, what do you do? He's like, I literally just swipe right, swipe right, swipe right, swipe right. Yeah, but it's the rule of numbers. It's probability, isn't it? Yeah. You're throwing a shit at a wall, some of it will stick. So if you just sit through it, hammering through, then you get the matches. But then you get the matches and you can sift through the matches. Some people say it's shallow, but dating is inherently a shallow game anyway, isn't it? Because you're usually going to fancy someone on first sight anyway. Then you get to know them and it grows more. Sometimes some people are like, no, it's not like that for me, it's not like that. I'll get to meet someone, it's like... Maybe and then what's the point? Like... Because if, because like, we'll come on to it, but I was like, so we, what I've been doing my Tinder profile, just like to see what, what we get. But, so it's like, I've got loads of matches because I think I've liked everyone within a hundred mile radius. I've completed Tinder. Um, um, you never complete Tinder. But... <laughs> Tinder isn't, in in there. There. <laughs> Tinder isn't a game you complete, it completes you. Oh, yeah. Can we edit that out? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get sponsored by Tinder. <laughs> yeah, so I've got all these matches, but they're all weirdos. So it's like, I don't want to sit Which is generally wanna... my perception of what people on these dates... You, get, you, you get guys get are saying... All on there. But generally... But do you not think it's just, a, it's just another way of meeting people? Just another way of meeting someone. I see it as people meet because they don't know how to do it another way. No, not, I don't. not you. I think, I think it's just. I'm a... saying generally that's why but these. I think, people because... I think society. I think society has changed, isn't it? In the sense yeah. of on nights out now, the weirdos are the ones that are seen that just go up to randoms and start talking to them. No, no, no. Like, who the fuck's this stranger exactly. talking to? No. Oh, no. can I buy you a drink? Have you matched me? <laughs> Assumed weirdo. Yeah, you can't actually you can't do that. just talk to people. So you're better off anymore. going. Oh, see, she's over there. Do, 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 do. You right? See, it's the phone, and then it's. Yeah. That's weird. You are two meters away from me. Hello. <laughs> Don't you think that's weird? Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> that, that's strange to me. But it is true. Like society has changed. But then changed there, is, there are some people that feel embarrassed that they met their partner on Tinder. Yeah. But you see, people... it all the you see it all the time in the bios and stuff. Like, oh, we can tell everyone we met in a bar. Why? Own that shit. Own it. But people we met on a dating my... app, and now we're, we're married with two kids. My mum and What's wrong with that? are getting uh, married uh, next year, and they met on Plenty of Fish. Sorry, mum. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> T-P-O-S. <laughs> Disclaimer. Oh. <laughs> I come from a generation that was yes. able to talk to people. But I, I still feel... Conversate. I'm... Think about it. You're, you're putting your faith in something you've never heard their voice. Yeah. yeah, but then you, like a voice would be like an indicator you, where you but then you, just imagine you meet something and they look nice and then they've got the most annoying voice you've ever heard but in then your you, life. It's just a precursor to meeting them, isn't it? So you've already, you've already established, uh, established a rapport with that person that, that you want to go on a date with. Then you go on the first date. So what, I've been on dates before where we've been getting on like a house on fire messaging and the conversation flows. Gone on a date and I'm like, nah, this just isn't for me. But you can fake it through message. That's the thing. Like you could be yeah. you, when you're when you're attracted. <laughs> I mean, I could sit to someone and say, oh yeah, I love this. You know, I've got on my thing. I love Game of Thrones. So people that message me, they're like, oh yeah, I really like Game of Thrones. This is my favourite character. Well, all they have to do if they're weird, which people do, is like Google Game of Thrones, like popular and character, then, yeah. and then same, and same, same, same. Do you reckon yeah. people go to that length? Yeah, I do. Sat I there really with a researcher. Do. She yeah. likes Game of Thrones. Type like Game of Thrones yes. into Google. Which, <laughs> yes, which people are which you, no, which you can't, not. you can't do that in person. You get called out on the spot. You can, do, you can have like an earpiece. <laughs> <laughs> so what cocktails? Jack, that? Jack, I mean, me about. I really, I really like gin cocktails. <laughs> I like uh, black Russians. No, it's a vodka cocktail. Like, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> abort, abort, abort. I'm, I'm, I'm just more inclined to trust somebody that I meet. I don't want to be talking to some four-year-old you know dude in his garage. But then, but that's what you mix this hot girl. But, but then, in that argument, I get what you're saying. But then, you still have to go and meet them. No, no, because no, because your your argument is that it's every just, every date is a blind date. It's not. You can just meet people. That's yeah, no, what we I used can, to do. I can still meet people. It's just another option. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I, I know it's another avenue, but I'm just saying, like you, you're saying, like the precursor. It's, it's, just, it's another, just like, no, it's not it's like just, that because just you can be at a bar of, and just say hi to somebody. It's, it's another way of meeting people though, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. absolutely fine. But, but I'm just saying, the option is, you could be talking to a 40-year-old sweaty I do think with what you're saying is, it's made meeting people 
harder. In the sense of when you used to go on nights out and stuff and meet people on nights That's out. That's all you had, so you had to engage, engage with people. people. The, only, the only way that someone would get, in, like, as you say, engaged with another human being, maybe <laughs> that kind of thing, would be going out and meeting them. Whereas now, it's not just that now. People have got the likes of, I can use this now to try and get someone to come around and get my end away. Yeah, but when, when do you meet people? Realistically, <laughs> traditionally, if you're going to meet someone, where do you meet them? You meet them in a club, in a bar, you're levered. Tinder. I was like, Co op. <laughs> Someone I know, a lad I know, we went on a night out, I won't say his name because it's not fair to him. Um, but Damn we we went we went on a big night out and we're all staying in a in a hotel we were staying in a hostel together, like a twelve bed hostel, all the lads. So we all stayed there and then we dad we went we had a big day drinking, come back and then he just started throwing up. So we we all went on the night out, had the night out, came back, we got back to the hostel at about four AM, got back, woke him up. He was stone sober because he had to sleep. He was like, oh, oh, I'm going to go get a kebab. So he fucked off at 4am in the morning, got a kebab, completely sober, met a girl in the kebab shop, went back with her. Yeah, and where did that progress to? Put him? Well, nowhere because he... Exactly! Yeah, yeah. Because... But, but, but what did you want to progress to? <laughs> They've got three dogs and they live in the country. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, where did you meet? Where did you meet Daddy? Oh, that's really. I was actually eleven in the kebab shop, and you just strolled in stone sober like a knight in shining armour. And stopped me being sick. No, you never spoke to me. I don't even think you got a phone number. So, do we believe that relationships that start off from online dating as such can lead to serious yeah, relationships? Yeah, because it's happened. Because that's the norm now. And because all I think it's, it's just a precursor, it's just, a pre, it's just before you meet someone, it's just a new way of I meeting think, people. I think you've got to look at it as well, you know, people use Tinder for a different reason. You look at the old generation that are using plenty of fish, using Tinder. Well, you know, they're, they're not going out, you know. But didn't they used to have stuff in like fucking newspapers and that, didn't they? You put the fucking Lonely Hearts columns and all yeah. that stuff. <laughs> Still have it now, don't they? The stuff where, oh, the blonde and the blonde haired lady on the London Houston train came <laughs> at 9.43. I don't know, Jack, I do caught they? her eye. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I heard from a mate. I heard from a mate about this. But yeah, I, I've, I've, got, I've got loads of mates that have met on, on Tinder and, well. they're, and they're in long term, been together for a few years because it, it is the norm. It's like, you know, yeah, you, it is the new I norm. find you, people, first thing people ask, you go, are you single? Yes, I'm single. Are you on Tinder? So they, they, everyone said you're on Tinder. Get Other answer. dating apps are available. <laughs> but we want the Tinder sponsorship. <laughs> Tinder. So do we think, though, the majority of people that are on the likes of, it's made, mainly Tinder, are in it just for the sex? Yeah, because people tell you. Honestly, you, you want to see what comes to I've had people, so I've been propositioned by a couple um, that want to be in a polyamorous, uh, polyam, polyamorous? Is that right? Polyamorous, polyamorous. relationship. Um, and looking for someone to join their relationship. Um, uh, I've, I've, I've got... A, a get on that Tinder, Doris. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get someone else round. Um, I've, had, I've had women dressed... In Not Doris. <laughs> Can we leave Doris out of this? <laughs> but Doris, is down, Doris, Doris is down the road, isn't she? She can't get another person to come round to join in a relationship with Dave. What's what she doing? Eating, but she we need to get down there and let Doris out. <laughs> Women Don't five pounds a month. Women dressed in full bondage gear and they're what? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Women this, dressed, this escalated. Yeah. Yeah, dressed in full bondage gear, fetish. Um, just, just read the bars. It, it, it is all about okay. sex. It is all about sex. <laughs> but on that, like you say, I think ninety percent of people who are on there. Maybe not 90, maybe 60, 70 are in it just for the don't, sex. Don't you think but it's easy? I don't think they can achieve that. Don't you think it's easier to get sex because of these? Well, yeah, it's because because, it's an instant hookup, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and, and, an and the guy hookup. immediately assumes because a girl's on it, she wants she's on yeah. it for sex, and a girl thinks the guy's on it the girls, for sex. The girls off spoke to it. It's I haven't got that vibe, but maybe my radar is just completely off. I'm just naive and just. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that they. I'm not saying people. they are. I'm saying the assumption but, is going to be hey, there. Being their first message, which is the most boring thing in the world. I'm sick of the word hey. So hey, 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 hey. The other thing that's the most common thing that comes through on my Tinder is DTF. Just DTF and question mark. Straight to the point. <laughs> You're not going to beat around the bush, excusing the expression. Oh, wow. <laughs> what does DTF mean? Down to fuck. Right, so, no beating around the bush. The more I think about, uh, is everyone on there just for sex, the more I think maybe they're not, and that's where sometimes the wires are crossed. 
I, th- I think p- the presumptions that people are on it, and that's where it becomes dangerous because, mm. saying, as Steph was saying, so I get a message from so and so, we're chatting away, he's thinking, oh yeah, she's going to come over. And y- you need to be sensible if you're going on a Tinder date, you, ne- you need to make sure people know where you're going, who, you, mm. who you're meeting, and make sure you've got a backup call because you can end up anywhere. Even if you're completely in- innocent, innocent and just want to meet you. And he's presuming, well, she's coming and, and around. I, yeah, and I always, but I always think as soon as a, a, a bloke will ask me, oh, yeah, do you want to come to mine? That's immediate red, red flag for me. So I'm like, you know, why can't we meet at a restaurant? Why can't we go, mm. go for drinks somewhere? And Maybe you're, really you're, nice you're vulnerable. You are very, very, because it's like you said, realistically, you do not know who you're meeting. Mm. So you get through, you go through into that house. Um, the door opens. You're like, oh, yeah, so-and-so is inside. Come in. Door closed, locked in. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. And yeah, people do get assaulted. And it, <coughs> and it has happened. But I think that happens with anything, doesn't it? And it can happen very easily. Yeah, I think I think it's like you said, with the difference with meeting people in reality, you, uh, you, you can't hide behind a profile. Yeah, exactly, so. and, there, and there's that level of reading somebody. But then also there's a risk, and people are very well at hi- good at hiding stuff anyway, so it won't even be that first time you go around. Moral of the story is there's dangerous people out there, so just stay safe. So what, so do how, we think Tinder's going to be here in 50 years? No, the, the whole online dating genre, how is it going to develop? It, it already has started developing though, hasn't it? Because you can now, there's new dating apps where you can video call each other. You know, it will go, it will go down that route mm. where... You can't hide on that though, video Yeah, call. I know. But how are you going to hide, how am I going to hide my chins video call? <laughs> <laughs> Just lay like, go completely high. flat. Go high. Like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> how you doing? My name's Jack. <laughs> Go not ahead. that angle though, never that angle. I, I, think, I think it will do, I think they're, they're here to stay, they're not it's going anywhere. To, it has to because we're getting more and more engrossed in our technology. Mm. But there's, there's, even new, there's even new apps where it's similar to Tinder, but instead of it just being a profile, it pictures and um, an about you, it's got, you ask questions and then you answer the questions back and you can like the answers and you do that, so it's a bit more in depth. But I think it, it will literally get to a sad point where people don't meet and their first date will be in a virtual reality mm-hmm. headset and we will sit there on this virtual reality date where you can see each other but you're in like a restaurant from the comfort of your pyjamas. Well I really hope I'm not seeing you. I'd love it, I'd be years. like, <laughs> and this is what I want to wear. So. Okay, I can see that happening, yeah. to be honest, I can see that happening. And then you start wearing them pressure plated suits and stuff. And yeah. <laughs> becomes oh. Irrelevant. Yeah, do you know what? As well, you could Photoshop them. So you go, oh no, I'm not quite happy with that. Like, let me just change it. Yeah, give me some abs. There you go, you look a bit better now. If you were just saying, you know, it, there's pressures on men if they, if they haven't slept with that many people or, you know, if they're not that sexually experienced, well, it's kind of the opposite for women. So women feel like they have to say, oh, you know, I've only slept with so many people, you know, I, I've not done this, I've not done this. So I, think, I, I think embrace it, you know, as long as people are being safe and they're being protected, 